Hey Robot fans, welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the circuit board series within the series. Uh, as you can see, my V2 of my Frankenchuck boards came in. They are significantly smaller than the V1 boards. Really, it's just the same components butted up against each other quite a bit more. They're still through-hole components, which means that they will still poke through the board and get soldered on the back. But if we take a look at the assembled versions of both of them, you can see they are mostly the same except for this black box here. And what this black box is, is a DC voltage regulator. So this will be stepping down my voltage, which will basically replace this entire board, which I currently have inside of the gun. So this little black box with these two little blue capacitors here replace this entire board, which is awesome. Here you can see it inside the gun. Uh, I have 12 volts coming from a regulated DC power supply over here, and then it's going into here, getting stepped down to five volts, and this five volts powers this brand new indicator LED, as well as the LED in the gun, and the sound card, the Adafruit sound card, which gives us our audio clips. So obviously the most important thing, it does work. <laughs> obviously that's a concern when you get a new board, making sure that all the circuitry works. So we've reduced the size quite a bit, which is good, but the big, the big takeaway from this video is going to be the power converter here. There are actually two of those power converters inside of the clone helmet. If you remember from last episode, all of this circuit board stuff is building towards making one circuit board to control everything that I installed in my clone electronics video. Okay, so I think this is going to be the last of the DC-15 videos. I want to move right into that clone project. There's a ton to do, and I want to take it piece by piece, especially for the new circuitry. A big part of that is going to be the Bluetooth. Right now I'm using an HCO5 breakout board attached to an Arduino Nano. My goal is to kind of get that onto one board, which is obviously what's going to be happening inside the clone helmet. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to get a microcontroller and a Bluetooth module combined onto one board and have them paired and talking, and then that will be a great start to the compad and the helmet talking to each other on a single board. So I have a lot of components. I've ordered a lot of boards from PCBWay for this Bluetooth portion of the build, so hopefully those will be here, and when they get here, I will make another video. If you like this project and you want to support it, I set up a little store on my website selling all these extra boards. When you order five boards from PCBWay, sometimes you have four extra, but sometimes they send you eight and you have seven extra. So I'm selling all those off pretty much at cost just to make some money back so I can buy some more boards and we can keep building this project together while you watch this. So I put a link to that store in the description to the video. And once those new boards get here from PCB way, I'll make another video and we'll continue towards this clone helmet project, which is going to be super awesome. So I'll see you next time.